Okay guys, let's do a quick video on how to do uh, some of your graphs and figures with categorical data. So let's go ahead and let's continue working with our World War II planes data set that extended one that I was working on earlier. Uh, go ahead and get it loaded on wherever you have it downloaded. Gotta go dig for mine just for a second. Okay, so when we look at our data set, we should have our like airplane identification number, wing, engine, fuselage, tail, and then type of plane. We've got fighter, transport, and bomber. Okay, so let's do a quick summary of that data. Go to summaries. We can do frequency distributions. We want to pick type and then click OK. And here we go. We've got a quick um, count. So there were 110 bombers, 95 fighters, and 113 transports. And then you can see the percentage breakdown here. So that's nice. Then let's continue on with our graphs. <clears throat> And the first one that we're going to do, we're going to do two different ones. Let's start off with a pie chart. So let's go to pie chart. We're going to go to type. And the graph title is we can just do um, plain, plain types from sample. Okay, we click OK. And, oh, well, I can't spell. But this gives us our breakdown. We roughly have a third of fighters a third of bombers, and a third of the transports. Uh, and we can see the specific values if we look at the bomber, the fighter, and the transport, the exact percentages of each of those. So that's how you do your, um, your pie chart. Now if you want to play around with the colors, you can. And here's how you do it. So within our code, this is the code where we are making our pie chart. It says pie. And then if you look at the end, it says COL, which stands for color, and then it says rainbow, HCL, parenthesis, three, parenthesis. Okay, this is the part that we're going to play around with. Let's say that I want to use some other colors. Now you can look up a whole bunch of colors that R has, that it has a whole bunch of native colors. If you stick with your basic colors though, uh, they're basically there. So I'm gonna do a new variable, I'm gonna call it my color equals, I'm going to type C in parentheses. If you're into coding, the C stands for concatenate, or it's to like smash uh, strings together. Uh, just if you don't care, just make sure that it's there because you actually need it for this code. Okay, so we're going to do black, black, and then let's do blue, and then let's do yellow, and end with a parenthesis. Okay, and this is a new variable. This is my variable, my color. Right here, instead of using this rainbow function, I'm just going to call it my color. Now I'm gonna highlight everything that I want to submit. So I need to submit my new variable with my pi code, and I can hit submit. And check that out. I forced these colors to be what I want. Blue, black, and yellow. And that's how you make a simple pi chart. I uh, hope that helps you out. You can change the colors if you want. Sometimes you need to, like if, you're actually, if, you're, if your variable actually is color, it's really annoying if you have color and the yellow is sticking, it's pointing to like purple. It's nice to be able to change it. This is the easiest way to how you can go and change those colors. Okay, good luck.